So dynamic SOQL or SOSL. Okay, we'll say I want it to return records from Salesforce objects. Okay. I wanted to return from sales records from Salesforce object public st static while SOPT SOQL Generally, how we'll do? So we'll write SOQ if I have like a string R C. Generally, what we can do? We have to define what is our list type, right? List account S C equal to select ID comma name from account where name equal to RSC this is what we do correct and then system dot debug ESC so now if you see so this is dynamic only because we are passing parameter like dynamic right square x but now the query will have two types of concerns okay are we passing the query as a dynamic or only query conditions are dynamic are we passing entire so instead of select i mean now Select ID comma name from account where name column. This is constant or dynamic? Constant, right? We are not talking about dynamic SOQL or SOSL will not talk about the variables, will talk about the entire query. Is this end user can able to manipulate or not? Generally, what exact it will do? List of S object list of S object okay here we can put ACC database dot query RAC there is an option called database queries database queries are variable does not exist what is this? Base billing. B A S. There are queries. So generally, you can query using a square brackets or standard queries or a normal SQL. If you use database start query, you can modify the queries whenever you wanted, however you wanted, at the runtime. Okay. Yeah. you can pass and you need to type cache like this if it is account all you need to put like this list of account here you need to pass list account type casting we need to do Here we will pass query. Here we will pass query. How to pass? We just create string query equal to select ID comma name from contact. 
Now query is dynamic or static. This is what dynamic SQL. If someone is talking about dynamic SQL, so first we need to talk about database queries. Database dot query. Okay. Clear to this point? Okay. Now we'll see. Save more of public static y save method. Okay, so let me ask you this question. If I am inserting my content, I am inserting my accounts. Okay, what is the required field? Required information you needed for account? Accounts. Account name is required, right? Go. Uh, okay, I'll create one account. Do we have any record with Z? No. Okay. Let me create some Z record. One Z record. Control G. List of account. ACC equal to new list of account. Clear. We need to do this. New account name equal to Z Z Z Z. Okay. Comma new account. Let me check it out. What are required information here? Okay. We do have some like dealer. Employee ID. We have so many fields are required. Account number is required. Account number equal to Fields Employee ID and then you need Employee ID equal to two three. So this is what right. If I save now, I will do one thing. I'll do insert ACC because I will get exception so I am doing my try catch block try catch exception e system dot depart dot get message cancel open execute illegal string to decimal which is string which is decimal now Employee ID number type, okay. Employee ID number type. Execute. 
So what happens? One is error that we know. One is error that we know. Okay, now it is. So we know that one record is error. Clearly represents. What happened to another one? Another record is perfect, right? Required field is missing. So now tell me. Is system creates ZZ record or it will not create? It is not great. Exactly. What happens? These operations are called DML operations. These operations are called DML operations. In DML operations, we have a try catch blocks. I mean exception handling. Whenever there is exception, the system will roll back all the records whichever it is committed till now. Okay? This is one way. Now, let me put little different. We have a method called database method. We have a method called database method. Database dot save result okay uh, dr list database list equal to database dot insert what is our list yes comma what is mean by next column first one is a collection of the elements collection of the elements Next one is, are we inserting or updating? If it is true, update. If it is false, insert. Okay? False. So, database have its own methods, such as that. It can say that database.save results will get a array. By the C, name itself, it is showing that it is a collection. Right? So, this collection will have some methods like e success is error all this method will get into this issue okay so this have a method first we can iterate our for loop for database dot save result is a result save result correct dr list now i am checking i am checking records not success records not success ok if not sr dot is success this is a method i am saying that the record which is not success success will return a boolean value either true or false is success if it is written it means true i mean if it is inserted successfully it means it will return true if not inserted successfully it will return false so i am saying that not of is success means false become true it will execute whenever there is a false condition clear to this point Trigger dot is insert. Trigger dot is what is is insert? Whenever insert files, it will return true. The same way we are inserting records. Now I am iterating my results of the insertion. In the result, if sr dot is success, I mean record dot is success. If it returns true, it means it is successfully committed to Salesforce system. If it is not successful, that means it will result fail. Understanding the operation of the fail CAUSC. So now I need to understand my fail cause. So inside we have one more condition called database dot error because these are error records we have database database dot 
error er colon sr dot get err ors err ors database dot get address these are the database methods guys we need to be heard one is database dot e success is one method database dot error is another collection array inside sr result sr dot get errors okay system dot debug error code what is my error code err dot get status code error dot get status code get message system dot debug which field impacted more which field impacted e r dot get fields er dot get fields system dot debug yes. now if i execute this one we'll see the difference the, i am not changing any record modes i am not changing anything records levels i am just changing the saving logic execute debug only required field is impacted missing is name but if you see record might get created understand so where database dot save results save method okay all we need to pass list of s object list of s object mm. yes list exceptional handling is exceptional handling which will results error or not but it whenever consider that if you are updating 50 records if there is an er error at 50th record all 49 records will also not save in database dot save results what happens if there is error at 49th record it will save 48 records and 50th record and 49 record alone it will not commit partial commitment is possible with database exactly so now we'll execute this method it almost so generally what we'll do we'll create a dynamic sql class utility class for a save method so we'll create a method something like this and we'll always call this method from other classes so what we can do here instead of writing coyote here class name copy dot save method what is accepting list of s object type right why i define list of s object because if i define account it helps only for account right because I define S object level, so I can mask my contact, I can pass my account, I can pass whichever object I wanted. C 
save this. Sorry. Yes, we can pass all objects. List of S object OB list equal to list of S object Whatever you pass, it will just create for you. Now it becomes dynamic, right? If you see, the query is dynamic, if you can see. Uh, because of a subject, you can create what object data you wanted and you can add to ACC. Let me call to Manish. Hello. Yeah, hi. So, yeah. So, if you want to do any, uh, I mean, exceptions, if you want to understand whatever it is going wrong, all you need to select debug log level equal to SFTC dev console. And you have to give start time, and it is available for a 24 hours so you need to provide 8 time no sorry 6 6 so once you enable debug logs all events will get registered here all the events will get registered here let me execute execute highlighted okay. now the debug logs will generate automatically now I have to see Workflow, see, workflow will give information. It will not give debug logs. Debug logs is actually enabled for Apex coding. Yeah. Well, debug logs is for Apex coding. Workflows that workflow is very simple. If the criteria is matching the record, it will execute. There will be no doubt in that. If the criteria is not matching, it means there is an issue. If you are considering whenever my account name, whenever my status equal to new, I need to file my workflow. Okay. I might have a trigger at back end. Whenever there is a new record created, before trigger, before saving, I wanted to update new to in progress. You understand? You are creating a workflow for filing a new records. But actually the trigger is updating status equal new to in progress at a back end. So all, all, ultimately workflow criteria is not matching. So it means it will get dropped down. Clear? What? Can, can you please repeat it again? Okay. 
what understanding you had yeah can you please repeat it uh, what you understand from this that is what okay you can get debug status for apex code information on workflows if you open oh sorry i took a wrong notation uh, which level i am using sfdc dev console okay in that you can see workflow information you will get or you can select your warnings database finest info but you won't get debugs just try to understand you won't get debug you will get only warnings information that's it not particular it will not give at particular it will give at system level okay now you can see debug 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 when you are doing with the workflow you have a assign.com debug have a status called debug logs here you will be having you can download your debug logs using assign.io from here you can able to get even workflows debug logs not with yeah from based on standard salesforce you don't have that functionality it's all you need to use third party service if i click edit assign at io you can see debug right but if i edit my sfdc dev console you don't have see it's a service which you are using if you are using workflows so i mean if you are using workbench you will get a rest integration so there are some other changes where you will get with the different types of tools but if you ask these options are available in salesforce no this is not a salesforce functionality this was authenticated by assign.io this yeah assign is a free tool assign is a free tool production why you are using in production production you are not supposed to use aside when in why because in production you do not have option call edit create options you can't modify anything in production level so no one no need to use any tools at production level for development try to understand why we are using aside.io to write apex code right in production level you don't have option to create a new apex code at production you have to deploy exactly all you need to develop sandbox and you need to develop production level there will be no changes on code even system will not allow you to modify anything so what exactly it happens you know if i go to apex classes okay i will not get edit option i will not get delete option i will not get security i will not get all these options no buttons here it's just a pure class yeah just class that's it it will not allow you to modify anything at production level directly so aside.com is also unused you can use just to read a code you can't modify your code exactly you have to go through the sandbox life cycle yeah clear to this point database what is dynamic sql and what is save method clear okay SQL is Salesforce object search language. SQL is Salesforce object query language. I'm talking about dynamic SQL.
my concern in the sense either dynamic SOQL or dynamic SOSL. My point is dynamic SOQL or SOSL means what is meant by dynamic SOQL or SOSL. So it just uh, where the attack instead of giving the query in a compilation time. Whenever I'm clicking save, it means it's a compilation time. When instead of passing query at a compilation time, I wanted to pass my query at a runtime. So what is meant by runtime? Whenever I'm invoking this class, whenever I'm invoking this class, that time I need to pass is called a runtime. That time I need to modify my query. Generally in Salesforce, in inside square brackets, if you are giving a something like list of s object scc1 equal to so if you try to give something like this it will try error rec it will not allow you to take that means sql have no ability to take dynamic queries in the string format which one will take a string format database start query database methods will have ability to read a data dynamically using the string value clear so we are using dynamic SOQL. So if you ask me a question, in real time, which type of implementation is really good? So we always target to use database.queries and we are instead of doing just insert or update, we have to write this method for sure. So what it will do, we will get all the results and we will try to understand which record is filing and then we will send a mail to the prospective team member saying that hey these are getting errors please recheck again okay clear instead of system system dot debug we will write a mail class i mean email service where it will send an email to the particular user who is creating record saying that hey these records are getting failed this is the reason please recheck so the use end user will get to know oh these records are not created. You have to fill the data, proper data, and you have to re-upload. Clear? Yeah. So what is difference between trigger.new and trigger.old in insert triggers? Before insert. 